Mini PCs are fascinating devices. I mean, literally, they're miniature versions of PCs. But this one, because of its specs and the ease of adding a second SSD for a second drive, the Ace Magician AK2 Pro caught my attention. And maybe it'll get your attention too. Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. If you like this video, subscribe. Well, here we go. This is the box. We're going to flip the box around a little bit so you can get an idea of the size and the labels. If you look this up on Amazon, you're going to see it's reasonably priced. First off, you're getting 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Tamper seal, I like that. The processor is an Intel Celeron N5095A with a launch date of Q321. Okay, let's get this box opened. That yellow label's got my attention. For what it's worth, with the initial boot, I had no issues. Here we have the power indicator. It glows blue when the power's on. Here you can plug in your audio. You got your ethernet. You can have two HDMIs, one USB 2.0 power, and this allows access to add SSD storage. USB 2.0 and two more USB 3.0 and the power button. Here you've got the power adapter. You get an HDMI cable. Here is the base mount. Yep, I just dropped that. I want to drop that again, so I'm just going to put it here. A small bag of screws and the user manual. Gotta tell you, I really like this part. This gives me easy access to add an additional SSD for additional storage. So easy to do. I mean, this is it. That's all there is to it. How easy could it be to add additional SSD storage? And this is what comes in the box. The initial startup didn't take long. I'm going to skip much of it just to get to the point. Follow the prompts to set up the device. Again, I'm skipping much of the setup to save time. What's going to be nice is there's not much of any bloatware, if any. After the first set of updates, I found that I'm running Windows 11 Pro version 21H2. A choice I made to update the OS, and you can choose to do this or not to do this, is use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant to update your operating system. The ending result was Windows 11 Pro 22H2. Remaining storage at that point was 181 gigabytes free. Now to open up Edge, do a little browsing, and see how it performs.
So now there's a number of tabs open and the performance seems fine. Let's try a little YouTube. Do you recognize this channel? And we're going to give this word processor a try. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope this video was a benefit to you. If it was, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And thank you.